What up YouTube, it's Kurt here. Today I'm bringing you a video and it's about how to beat Night March. So if you don't know about the Night March strategy, um, it's a pretty basic strategy that a lot of people use in online and a lot of people use it in real life too. And it's really um, boring, annoying, and uncreative. Um, but fortunately, there's just a very simple way to beat most Night March decks. And uh, really the answer to that is Jolteon EX. And uh, right now I am playing an expanded, but if you run into any Night March in standard, I don't even know if it's good in standard. But um, Jolteon also works in standard play, and you could use most of this deck in standard play as well. So really, most people that build their Night March decks, uh, again, it's just a cut and paste team. It's not, there's no creativity in it whatsoever because so many people use it. Um, but really, they only put basic Pokemon in their decks. So and they don't have any poison or anything like that. So if you're able to get Jolteon set up and have it as your only Pokemon on your side of the playboard, then yeah, you pretty much have the game one set and match. Uh, most most Night March decks don't have any effects that remove the effects of attacks. Uh, that can be your one uh, downside to that. Um, but again, if you have... I have two Jolteon EX in this deck, um, so if you just have at least two, you should be fine. You should beat Night March like 90% of the time. Now, you will have a harder time beating the Vespi Queen variants, but still, you have a lot better odds of winning um, against Night March with this deck because they won't always draw the cards that they need to with Vespi Queen. And I also uh, I combine this deck with... Uh, the Glaceon, yeah, the Glaceon card that prevents uh, damage from evolution Pokemon. And you can see here this Vulpix actually have the Ninetales that prevents all damage from EX and GX Pokemon. So this is kind of just a mass prevention deck, and it works pretty well against a lot of decks. Um, so if I run into any deck that only has like EX or GX Pokemon, I can pretty much auto win. Same with uh, blank basic or blank evolution. Um, I can beat quite a lot of decks by having Pokemon that don't just have good effects of attacks or good abilities. You can see here, okay, he gets Mew set up, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to play the Acro Bike. Uh, I'll take Electrode. Electrode's really nice. It has the Buzz App Thunder, so if you need help getting set up, uh, Electrode can help out with that a lot and can make things really easy, especially if you go first and you get Electrode down, um, and that helps you get up your attack right away. But here I don't really need to use it. I get the special energy right away. <laughs> um, not a big surprise there. Use Beacon, so I'm going to try to grab Jolteon just in case, and my other Jolteon just in case, and grab my Voltorb. So just in case I need to evolve that Voltorb. So right here, he's not going to get uh, a very powerful attack off, but uh, he's just going to sack my jo not my Jolteon. He's going to sack my Vulpix here, which there's no big deal about that. Who really cares? And this person just isn't really expecting Jol Jolteon because not a lot of decks use Jolteon, but mine does, and it's really really awesome. And I I like a hundred percent of the reason why I use this Jolteon deck is because Night March is so prevalent, and I love running into people with these annoying, uncreative decks and just destroying them with a deck that, I guess, yeah, you don't really see this deck as a standard anywhere. So I guess there's kind of some creativity there. But it's just a lot of fun <laughs> when people don't realize what's coming. So throw down my Voltorb. Just get a couple energy just in case. He's going to play some N, but that's that doesn't really matter. Just in case he has like a crush... Um, an enhanced hammer or something like that. Then use my flash ray. Boom. And flash ray one hit KOs like most of the monsters in a Night March deck. And that's what's really nice about it. So he's going to get Joltik. It's, he's going to play N here. So N doesn't really hurt me that much. I already have all the cards up that I really need. That's what's really nice. Because Night March is just is like the easiest deck to beat in the world with one card. And that's why, I don't know, I almost feel like we want to shame Night March a little bit just because everyone just has a cut and paste deck. I mean, maybe it's not nice to shame people. I shouldn't say that. But 
at the same time, like, what makes the game fun is, like, a lot of the diversity that you find in decks. To me, that at least to me, that's what makes it fun. And that's why I think Expanded is a, overall a better format than Standard, is because you get a, a better, bigger variety of decks here. So here, yeah, he just... He just didn't, wasn't able to get an attack off. It wouldn't have mattered if he got an attack off because I would have prevented damage anyway. And uh, even though he didn't get that great of a start, it doesn't matter. Like Because of because of my card draw, I probably would have won this anyway just because of the matchup. So here's where he's going to find out that, uh, yeah, his strategy just is not going to work for him at all. So he has his field card in play, so he's going to be able to, to attack. He plays N, which again, we're not really going to care about that N too much. We'll get two less cards, but it doesn't matter at all. He's going to try to attack, and nothing. Well played. He probably could have seen that coming a lot earlier, but that is really just how easy it is to win with a Night March, guys. Um, feel free... Yeah, I'll try to export this deck and then or something like that and let you guys let you guys try it out. So I appreciate it guys. Feel free to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. So peace.